You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. And joining me now is Jason Hoffman, CEO of Mobile Edge X. Jason, good to see you. What is the objective of Mobile Edge X? The Edge is a very crowded and busy place at the moment. What role are you looking to achieve? Yeah, so I mean, Mo Mobile Edge X was uh, founded by Deutsche Telekom uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, and, you know, our initial activity that we've been doing is um, both product development and building an ecosystem. And what we uh, decided was that the missing piece in the edge space was the ability to have uh, like an aggregator of existing infrastructure that's present within the mobile networks, presenting that up into a common market, and then actually connecting that to devices and the actual applications on the devices. And so a lot of what we do then is just about exposing mobile infrastructure assets that exist already, and then on one side connecting them to the public clouds, and on the other side connecting them to the actual application developers on devices. So why create a separate company from Deutsche Telekom? A oh, why a separate company? Uh, well, I mean, uh, one, we're, we're based in the Bay Area, so you know, we're, we're headquartered out of San Francisco, not out of Germany, uh, you know, in there. Uh, there's the practicalities of just that you know, situation. Uh, and then also we're meant to execute at a certain speed that's much larger than, you know, a large, you know, much faster than sort of a larger company is. And, and so having the agility of a startup and the speed of execution, you know, but at the same time sort of, um, you know, having a large corporate owner was the intention. So does this play into the need for collaboration? From what you've achieved so far, it's very apparent that collaboration is a key factor for success at the edge. This needs to encourage and foster a very strong ecosystem. No, that's, ab that's, absolutely, that's absolutely true. Um, so we started with the question of who is the edge for and you know, what, what would they like to do with it and, and, and you know, why would they need it, right? And so we believe that the edge is for uh, you know, existing and emerging device makers and the, the actual application creators that go on those devices. And then when you look at everybody that has to collaborate and come together in order to deliver that you know, superior experience to the actual customers of, of the edge, it requires the operators uh, to work together with the public clouds, to work together with you know, our own uh, sub-suppliers and vendors in the space, and to work together with the existing device makers, and you know, actually have sort of a collaborative approach to bring all that together for the benefit of the actual customers of an edge. You mentioned devices and applications there. Will the edge follow the path of the, the cloud market, creating a you know, new generation of digital businesses around devices and applications? Yeah, because I mean, we think that you know, the, the, the rise of cloud went along with two development phenomena, if you will, right? We had the, the rise of web 2.0 developers and the rise of mobile you know, developers, right? And so a lot of the initial cloud backends were largely around you know, mobile applications and web applications you know, in there. You know, what we're actually seeing is um, the emergence of new categories of applications, you know, particularly in the augmented reality, mixed reality space. Uh, we're seeing the emergence of uh, many applications around computer vision, you know, machine learning that goes along with it. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of, um, you know, and a third area is a lot around uh, autonomous mobile vehicles. Right, so whether it be a drone, a car, you know, an industrial robotic system and the like. Now, when you look at like those types of emerging segments, um, you know, one, one open question is, you know, there's, there's, it's, it's starting to feel a little bit, you know, like the web 2.0 days 15 years ago and the rise of, you know, native mobile applications a decade ago. You know, there's starting to be enough activity in sort of the AR, MR, computer vision, machine learning, autonomous vehicle space um, that, you know, we have that emerging category of developers and those applications need an edge uh, present in between the devices and a cloud and actually having all three of those parts work together in a, in a productive way. You've already entered into collaborations with other CSPs, SK Telecom in South Korea, for example. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I mean, I mean that's the, the other purpose of us being a, you know, a, a standalone company in there is to engage with other operators. And so, you know, our intention is to engage with as many of, of you know, the uh, CSPs as we can, 
and that's both communication service providers and cloud service providers, you know, in there. Uh, and then, of course, to do as much uh, native device integrations that we can we can do as well. Yeah. Now, behind you here on the Deutsche Telekom booth at Mobile World Congress, there's a demo of immersive multiplayer gaming. What is that showing? What potential of the edge is that showing? Yeah, I mean, what we what we wanted to show here is, I mean, this has the uh, the new Samsung S10 devices, so it's a new you know new smartphone device. Um, it's on a private LTE network, you know, that's present present here inside of the booth. Uh, it's using a series of uh, edge infrastructure that's in there. Um, you know, the first thing is just the, the the presence of the Samsung S10 with the Niantic application on it. That means us actually pulling in, you know, Niantic sort of back ends into that you know local local edge that's you know connected on on cellular there. Um, and then it's also then a, a multiplayer you know, like uh, AR game that's very sort of interactive. And when, and when you see the type of demo here where uh, these guys are on real smartphones, on a real network, on a real edge, and actually doing this degree of, you know, real time playing and interacting together, you know, it's a good example of sort of why all these parts are, are needed to actually execute on these types of applications. Jason, thank you very much indeed. No, no, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, guys.